Did you know that the early detection of polycystic kidney disease can drastically prolong a cat's life? Or that up to 90% of all cats over 4 years old silently suffer from dental diseases? Knowing if your cat is prone to certain health issues is critical for your cat's well-being. With that information, you can improve your cat's life by ensuring they get the proper treatment before it's too late. Luckily, this simple test can tell you a lot about your cat's heritage, health, and potential dental issues. All it takes is a small sample of your cat's saliva, which you send to Base Paws, who are kindly sponsoring today's video. Base Paws then perform a DNA test on your cat's sample. Base Paws works with top veterinarians, researchers, and cat parents to provide cutting-edge information about your cat's oral health, health markers, physical traits, and more. They offer three amazing products. The Oral Health Test for Cats assesses your cat's risk of developing major dental conditions, including periodontal disease. While oral health is often overlooked in cats, bad oral health puts cats at a greater risk of developing kidney disease, diabetes, cardiovascular problems, and some autoimmune diseases. The Base Paws Breed and Health Cat DNA Test includes the Oral Health Test, as well as an overview of the breed's sharing genetic similarities with your cat. That's not just fun to know, it's also vitally important since your cat's breed influences their genetic health conditions. Plus, the test looks for 64 markers of genetic health conditions, including polycystic kidney disease and hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. They also test for 50 markers of physical traits, like chocolate coloration or polydactylism. This is the test we chose for our three cats, and the results were fascinating. Some parts were a total surprise, while others made so much sense. All our three cats were previously strays, so we knew nothing about their heritage. The third product offers a complete genome analysis that includes even more perks, as you can see on the screen. So, how does it work? All you have to do is take a sample of your cat's saliva, place it in a secure container, and ship it back to Base Paws. It's a straightforward process that only takes a few seconds. The test comes in a nicely designed box and clear instructions. The same box needs to be sent back to Base Paws with the sample. One thing to keep in mind is that you must register the health kit on Base Paws' website before closing and securing the box. Fortunately, they make sure it's almost impossible to forget. They also make it very simple to ship the test back since the address is already printed on the box. Once Base Paws receives the package, you'll receive the results in between four and six weeks. And now, let's see what we discovered about our cats, starting with our brown tabby. The first page summarizes the test report, which is quite comprehensive. As you can see, our brown tabby isn't at risk of any major health issues, but she is prone to developing dental disease. More about this a bit later. Keep in mind that the DNA test cannot identify your cat's breed. It only looks for genetic similarities with other breeds. There are four main groups of cat breeds detailed by Base Paws tests. The breed analysis of our brown tabby isn't surprising at all. As you can see, she is a domestic polycat, meaning a mixed breed cat. That being said, her DNA has the most in common with the Wester group, which makes sense as we live in Europe, the birthplace of the Russian Blue, the Norwegian Forest, and probably the Maine Coon. Her possible tire Siamese heritage is also understandable since Siamese cats, alongside other well-known breeds, are popular in my country. If you're interested in learning more about the breed's base paws test for, worry not. There are quite a few pages describing each breed, and you can also check out our videos about them. What about our other cats? Turns out our orange male cat, Marcel, is also a polycat, broadly western with a touch of Persian. The possible Persian heritage, while a surprise, made sense since such kitties are also prevalent in my country. Our third cat, however, had the most exciting breed analysis report. While she is also a mixed breed, broadly western cat, she has more in common with other cat breeds, particularly the British shorthair breed. We always thought she looked like she might have a bit of Brit blood, and now we know it. Overall, I found the breed analysis test to be pretty accurate. What about the markers for genetic health issues? The first thing you'll notice is that Base Paws makes it super easy to understand the report. When they test for genetic markers discovered by cat studies, they use a simple grading system from 1 to 5 stars. The grading system considers the number of cats participating in the studies, the methods used, and the consistency of the results. Basically, the higher the number of stars, the more reliable the study is. One-star studies should be taken into account with extreme caution. Personally, I consider studies with grades of 2 stars and above since there are no contradictory results reported. 
reported. They also tell you if your cat is at risk, at high risk, clear, or simply a marker carrier. However, the test isn't fully comprehensive, as it only tests for genetic markers known to cause health issues. There could be other, still unidentified markers that could lead to health problems. That's the case for hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. There are a few known genetic mutations that predispose cats to develop HCM, like the ones predominantly found in Maine Coons and Ragdolls. Even cats who don't carry these markers can have HCM, however, suggesting that there are still more causes to be discovered. But just because a mutation is typically found in a particular breed, that doesn't mean mixed breed cats can't have it. Just wait until you see our cat's results. Does this mean the test isn't relevant? Not at all. Testing your cat for currently known genetic markers is a hugely important part of making sure your cat receives the proper health care as soon as possible. Just keep in mind the test is not a replacement for regular vet visits. Also, Base Paws continuously updates their DNA test. I was very impressed to see they look for a particular HCM marker that has only recently been discovered. Now that we know how to read the results, let's check our cat's reports. Starting with our brown tabby cat. While Sika tested negative for all health issues, we learned she's a carrier of an HCM-related mutation found in Maine Coons, even though she's a polycat. Luckily, she's not at risk, according to Base Paws, since she only has one copy of the mutation. Our orange boy also tested negative and is not a carrier of any mutations. Yay! Our third cat, Betty, was found to be at high risk of developing this type of hemophilia, but luckily the disease doesn't have severe symptoms. Still, it's great to know this in case Betty ever needs surgery. The test also predicts your cat's blood type, though it cannot tell you with 100% accuracy. Let's move on to the fun part. The DNA test also looks for genetic markers associated with some physical traits, like whether a tail is short or kinked, as well as the cat's colors and patterns. The test tells you if your cat is likely to display these features and if they are a carrier of certain genes. The results were quite surprising. Our brown tabby cat is a carrier of the chocolate gene, which is interesting because her hair has different shades of brown. That's likely because she is only a carrier of the gene. The results also suggested that Sika has a color point coat, like a Siamese, and long hair, which she doesn't have. Have. However, these two studies were ranked the lowest in terms of reliability, proving the effectiveness of the rating system. Marcel's results suggested that he also has a color point coat, carrying two copies of the same gene as Sika. I was happy to see that Betty's results were accurate. It told us she's likely to have a diluted color, which she does since gray is a dilution of black. And now for the dental health results. We learned that our brown tabby cat is at risk of a periodontal disease and bad breath. While our other two cats had way better results, they still had some microbes related to these diseases. At first, we were surprised, since Sika and Betty eat the same food, but then it started to make sense. Out of all three of our cats, Sika is the oldest and gets the most inappropriate snacks when we eat. Who knows? Maybe Marcel's love for plants is what puts him at such a low risk. What I love about Base Paws is their fun and easy to understand presentation of the results. They also provide a super helpful video showing how to approach brushing your cat's teeth in a way that's not intimidating. Dating. Plus, they offer a variety of other products you can use in case your cat really hates being brushed because, yes, there are other options to traditional brushing. Overall, I'm incredibly impressed with Base Paws. Their easy-to-use products provide great insight into your cat's health and well-being. I think the value they provide is definitely worth the price. Check out the links in the description to get your very own Base Paws breed and health DNA test and subscribe for more videos.